came to site and informed the contractor that they had until 4 o'clock today to produce a piece of paper signed by the ministry. Now, bearing in mind the whole process that we'd gone through, we were really surprised. We quickly put together a letter which I was going to get to the minister before 4 o'clock today, explaining to him the whole sequence of events. Um, we didn't have a chance to do that because before 4 o'clock, he was already here and the damage that you can see was done. I've been made to understand subsequently that after we were given the green light to start, there was a survey plan which should have been submitted to the Ministry of Lands. My state officer is telling me now that they hadn't yet sent it because they hadn't signed it off or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure of the facts. But he basically, what I understood was that there was an administrative gap that they had left and that they needed to send that. Yeah, and I, and, and that was the same, yes, it was the first I was hearing of it when this happened. And of course, as a mayor, I will push many things, but I can't follow every single piece of documentation. That's why you have an administrative staff, and that's why you rely on them. That notwithstanding, even if there was a survey plan that should have been submitted, that wasn't submitted, I would really expect to have been contacted. I would have expected a letter from the Ministry of Land saying, FCC, we see you've got a signboard out there saying different funded project, you're missing some of the documentation. Can you please make sure your documents are in order? What I wouldn't expect is for very expensive work, wall structures, the zinc pans, um, and not to, not to mention the fact that this is one of our really important partners and it says they're different funded and the people they spoke to explained. I wouldn't expect it to be damaged in this way. I'd have expected, I'd have expected a professional um, approach to resolving whatever matter um, the Minister of Lands thinks that there is with this property. And let me just end by saying, when we were having these meetings, the issue at hand was that Eslare said it was a right of way. And we know that right of ways are just that, right of ways, not lands that should be given out. We've seen the Minister of Youth using right of ways for the good of all in terms of the car park. So for us to be given the right of way for the good of sanitation seems a very reasonable um, and appropriate action and for which we're very grateful, very grateful to all the MDAs who were involved um, and very, very saddened to be standing here today to see, you know, this work destroyed in this way. Um,